And now, weather with your First Coast News storm experts. Powered by AC Design's heating and air conditioning. I still remember when I was just a kid in grade school learning about warm colors and cool colors, you know. <laughs> yes. And I'm looking at your map that you have. It's just what you're going to show it to us in a second. There's not many warm colors. In fact, I don't see any yes. warm colors on it. Oh not anywhere gosh. in the lower 48. Yes, but it is going to be a very cold start anywhere you go Look pretty at that. much across the United Even States. Even green I mean, isn't a warm color. I was going to say, down in uh, West Palm, <laughs> Miami, Tampa, they're feeling it too, at least for us Floridians, all right? So it is going to be bitter cold with this dip in the jet stream, what we like to call a trough. And what we usually see when we see these dips in the jet streams, we could see some moisture come out of the Gulf of Mexico, form into a low pressure, and then skirt along the east coast coast. That's what we're going to see this week and it's going to be an interesting ride folks. So buckle up. We've got a whole lot to talk about now and into the overnight hours. We're going to see the drizzle and the sprinkles. They'll begin to increase across the first coast coming in from the west. So we'll be ringing in 2018 a bit damp, but again, the heavy, heavier, steadier showers are going to come overnight, especially after midnight. New Year's Day, it's going to be a breezy one. It'll be cloudy, damp, and cold. Those morning showers will linger until about mid-morning, and then the skies will slowly begin to clear out. The clouds will want to hang on, and it is going to be a cold one tomorrow afternoon. Tuesday morning, we've got a hard freeze watch for our inland areas. That does not include Duval County, but still, we will have wind chills in the teens. For, for the for the kiddos heading to the bus stop, you'll want to make sure maybe the parents can keep the heater on and let them in in the car for a little bit or just make sure they are really bundled up because it is going to be downright cold. So this hard freeze watch again, it's not until Monday night and into Tuesday morning. This Arctic front is going to bring a serious surge of some cold air across the first coast. So what this means is you're going to want to take care of the four P's. This includes the pipes this time, folks, because temperatures could be in the mid to upper 20s as we're waking up on our Tuesday morning. So the cold air hangs around and that dip in the jet stream, it stays over the Jacksonville area and we'll be waking up Mo or Wednesday morning to some coastal showers possibly. They'll be inching inland and watch as this area of low pressure begins to move up into the Atlantic. We're going to see a freezing line here and it is going to be very dicey just how close it gets to the Jacksonville area and of course just how cold this air is at the surface. We could be talking some wet snowflakes in the Waycross area but especially so for our friends west of Savannah up into the Myrtle Beach area and for the coastal Carolinas. This is the European model that latest run but we're saying there's a chance, right? I just said snow here across the first coast. Well, it of course depends on a whole lot of things, but this is to break it down as of now. And I say chance, you've got to emphasize chance. Most areas are going to see that plain old cold rain. Temperatures at the surface just aren't going to be cold enough. Where we've got this thin line of pink, we could see a wintry mix, some wet snowflakes and possibly even some sleet maybe mixed in with that cold rain, but then farther up to the north, maybe even the way cross west of Brunswick and then again up into the coastal Carolinas, we could be talking some snow. Now, if it's going to stick, of course, for southeast Georgia, it'll be tough for it to stick, but where it's colder up to the north, we could see a trace to maybe an inch of snow. Remember these variables, though. It's all going to depend on this low pressures track and strength that could bust this forecast altogether. How much moisture is there? and then also just how cold those surface temperatures are. We've talked a whole lot. I'm going to show you that seven day forecast at the end of the show, so make sure to stay tuned and we've got sports after the break.